Well, hello there. I'm John Hammond, founder of Jurassic Park. When I'm not playing God and creating dinosaurs, I hope listening to the Snowplow Show. Take it away, Brad. Hi, is this Ian? Yes. Hey, this is Douglas from the Oil Change Center. Yes. Um, you had your oil changed today? I did, yes. And I was wondering if there's any way, like, you could bring your car back tonight? Sure, what's up? Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but, um, we had the police, like, while you were in here, I don't know if you noticed that there was a police cruiser that came through and has his oil changed? No, no, that must have been just after I left. Oh, no, it was while you are here, because I, I got a little freaked out, and I hid, I hid my weed inside your trunk. I, I just, uh, I, 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 I thought he was, I, I thought he was there for me. I was just a little parent, overly paranoid, I guess, and I thought he was there for me, and I, Hid my weed in your trunk. So there was no police cruiser while I was there. No, he was behind you. I didn't, he was in line oh, he wa- was waiting. No. no, it wasn't me. No, no, and, it, and, and it was with, whereabouts did you put it? In like the, under the carpet or something? No, yeah, in the trunk. In the trunk, just kind of in oh, the corner. Oh. It wasn't a lot. It was just like a, a quarter an ounce of weed. But I thought he was there for me. Oh he, boy. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, he was he was um, he was in line behind you, like several a couple. No, when when I left, there was nobody in line behind me. Yeah. What kind of what car did you put it in? Your car, Ian. It's in the computer because I wrote it down. What, what what kind of car was it? I don't know. It was just a car. I don't know cars very well. I, I don't really know cars. You know, cars aren't my thing. Cars aren't my what bag. Co- what color was it? Hell if I know. I just, you know how many cars I've seen today? Like a, at least uh, uh, no, I at don't. least a hundred. No. I just wrote down your phone yeah. and your name, and it's definitely right. a car I put it into. You don't need to be a jerk right. about it. I just want my weed back. Understood. Understood. Um, <clears throat> I, so I really don't think it was me because I'm pretty sure I would have remembered um, a, a police cruiser in the line behind me, and I'm absolutely certain that that was not there at the time. Why would um, you remember that? Like, what what are you doing illegal that you would remember that? I'm not doing anything illegal. Well, how would you remember a police cruiser in line? That's stupid. Well, I have to remember that there was absolutely nothing in line behind me at the time. There was definitely remember. one in line behind you. No, no, it wasn't me. You don't need to argue with me. I mean, if you want to fucking argue with me, next time I'll, I'll pour sugar in your oil, in your engine. What was your name again? Roy. Roy? And you work at the what place? And the oil chain center. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, do you believe um, me now? Do you believe now that there was a cop car behind you? So... God damn it, I, I, motherfucker. I'm, I'm absolutely fucking shit. positive there was no police car. So i tell you what I'll do, Roy. I'll walk out to my car, and I'll have a look in the trunk. Yeah, it's... And if, if I find it there, I will call you back. How about that? Well, can't you just do it on the phone with me? Because that's the only weed I have. I need my weed back. So, I would love to help you, Roy. I, I well, mean, you're being a fucking jerk about it. You, I want my goddamn but... weed back. God damn it. Give me my weed back. You're a fucking thief. You're going to keep my weed. You're going to pretend there wasn't a cop car behind you so you can keep my weed. I want my goddamn weed back. So, Roy, this is not going well. Obviously, you, you smoked it. I would, lo- I would love to help you. You, you don't, don't need to get offensive about you this. You probably smoked you. it all already. So, pretending what? there's not a cop car behind you. You know there was. There, no, there wasn't. It's not even it that wasn't. expensive. It's not that much weed, but it's all I had. It's so, just a quarter of an ounce. Oh, so, you need to go out there and check for my goddamn weed. I want my weed back. What's your second name, Roy? Bit, I want my weed. I'm banging on the desk. Give me my fucking weed. I want my weed. Oh. God damn it, Ian. Are you serious? <laughs> I I really get the feeling like this is some sort of hoax or something. This a is, hoax? Uh, yeah. No, eighty dollars is not a hoax. I want my goddamn weed. <laughs> Go check your trunk right now, Ian. <laughs> this is very funny. I have your um, address in my computer. So I tell you what, I'm I'm going to hang right. up right now. I'm going to walk to my car. It'll take me about three minutes. Run to your car. Give me my fucking weed. 
I want my weed! God damn it, Ian! Give me my fucking weed! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! I want my weed! Give me my fucking weed! I want my weed! God damn it, Ian! Give me my fucking weed! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! Banging on the desk! I want my weed! Hello? Banging on the desk. Banging on the desk. That was a great song by John. Thanks for sending that in, John. I had to replay that call that I just replayed again recently. If you guys remember that one, I had to look on shitbradsays.com to find out where it was. Anyway, hey everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. My name's Brad. That was an intro song by John. And that Snowplow Show drop you heard earlier, that's from Roger. He knows a lot of celebrities apparently and just gets them to make drops for me. But they always talk weird. I don't know why. This episode of the Snowplow Show is brought to you by Broski Plass. I'm saying Plass this time, not Plass. I don't know why. Also, Rev, Sean L., and of course, Brennan. They support the show on patreon.com slash phone losers. And they got to hear the hobo so number 350. Oh wait, yeah, everyone got to hear that one. If you don't know, there's a new hobo sewed out. Everybody can listen to it. I think I didn't post that on phonelosers.com for some reason. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. If I didn't, I need to go do that. Anyway, go to patreon.com slash phone losers. You can listen to that episode even if you don't support the show because for some reason I'm still making every 10th episode free to everybody. On Wednesday, I did a hang up the phone show with Fresno Carl. We hung out on prankcast.com for about not even an hour, I think, and took a few calls. I don't think we really accomplished anything, but we had fun at least. That's all that matters. If you missed that, I went ahead and posted that one already, even though there's like five episodes before that that I haven't posted. I don't know why I did that. That's confusing. I'm not even sure I put the right episode number on it. But you can go listen to that at phonelosers.com. I posted that up there on Thursday. And yesterday, I was on the Dragon Mirror show. Not for very long. I was just on the very end, I think, maybe the last hour. And I did one shitty call, and I did one amazing call that I have to play a clip for you because I think I want to try some more of these in today's show. But this one did not go as expected. I was expecting to get yelled at by this guy, but instead he was way too accommodating here. I'm going to play a clip here of it. I'm calling up some sort of a fast food place. I need something to help you. Okay, look, we were in there earlier and we are eating inside, okay? Okay. And I put a radio listening device by the cash register. So we can okay. listen so we can listen wirelessly. And somebody's moved it over to buy a table. Can you figure out where it is, please? Yeah. Um can you describe what it looks like? Uh it's um it looks like a little ele- electronic device. It's like a wireless microphone that is uh broadcasting a signal out to me and I'm listening from afar. It's I'm a, looking in the dining room right now. It's held underneath the table by a magnet probably. Oh, okay. Hold on, then. And then he goes out there, he looks around a little bit. I do not see a device. Uh, start clapping. You to know where hey, you're hey, 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 I got an idea. Start clapping your hands and walking around the dining room, and I'll tell you when you're getting warmer. Clap loudly. Okay. Well, let me take these gloves off, then. <laughs> oh, oh, I hear it, but you're far away. <laughs> Keep going. Keep clapping. Are there customers in there? No. Shoot. Do you hear people? No. I I think I just hear people in your kitchen or whatever. Okay. Hear people in the kitchen. Or you know whatever back there, the grill, the fryer. Uh, let me see if behind it's the counter by the register. Okay, is there a manager there? Because look, we don't have much time. I am. The shows. You're the manager. Okay, and you haven't found my hidden microphone yet. Can you yell lo- Can you yell locate? Yeah, and you gotta spin, sir, too. You gotta spin. Yeah, we needed the, the the Doppler effect, and then I can tell you exactly which table it's under. Yell locate. Yeah, just be like locate, but spin around while you do that. Spin and yell, sir. Spin and yell, sir. Okay. 
please. Hold on, I'm going to take it away from the phone real quick. Okay. Is it getting closer or? A t t table five, table five, go to table five. Table five. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Yeah, do you see it there, sir? Do you see it? What the hell, you guys? That guy set his phone down and imitated a tornado warning siren thing. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know why he did that. That was not expected. I swear that wasn't a paid actor like I usually do for my prank calls. No, just kidding. I have to say just kidding or everyone's going to believe that. Oh, and that was an idea from the chat room in Dragon Mirror's chat over at prankcast.com slash Dragon Mirror. He does a show every single Friday evening or afternoon, depending on where you live. It's usually pretty fun. Not always, but usually. So be sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the show notes if you want to go listen to that entire episode. And you can hear my shitty call that didn't work out. Hopefully he doesn't cut that out. One more thing before we get started with the pranks today. Mano One has released an album called The Prank Call Remixes EP. And it's on Bandcamp. It's completely free. It features music by Mano One mixed with prank calls of mine and King Richard from anotherprankcallshow.com. And you guys all know Mano One's music, right? I've played his stuff on here a few times now. I think maybe even all of the tracks that are on this album. But apparently this is all remixed and upgraded. So I would go listen to the entire thing that I'm going to link to in the show notes. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Who is this? It's Steve with the marina. There was a little bit of an incident. What happened? We had to recruit your boat. You ran into some trouble and capsized. You caught me totally off guard. That was an emergency, sir. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Hammering away at it. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Nobody's out there, he's turning around. Hammering away at it. My boat has been damaged. My, my, my boat has been damaged. My boat has been damaged. You're being a big baby about it. Wait, 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 don't you call me a baby. Don't, don't you call me a baby. Don't, don't call me a baby. Well, you were being a baby. Don't, don't you call me a baby. Don't, don't you call me a baby. Don't, don't call me a baby. Well, you were being a baby. Don't, you do not call me a baby. Well, you're being a baby. You do not call me a baby. Hello? Hey, Matthew. Yeah? It's Roy, your neighbor. I'm sorry, who? Roy. Uh, I live a couple blocks away. Hey, I was wondering, um, can you please stop moving my nature cam, uh, you know, ca camera that I have in your yard? Because I have it pointing at a specific spot. See, um, say that again? Oh, you know, up in your tree. I I've got a, yeah. a nature cam up there, and uh, I don't know, someone there keeps moving it every couple days. And I've got it trained on a specific part of your yard. Just to watch the squirrels and stuff. Can you please not move that? Um, I haven't been in my yard at all, so I don't know where. Oh, is it someone else in your family then just moving it? I've got a nature cam in, in one of the trees. It's like up there in the tree. Where at? Uh, in the tree and kind of pointing down at the yard. I'm just capturing squirrels. That's all. It's nothing creepy. But every time I check it, it seems like it gets moved. Yeah, and, I don't know anything about that, Roy. I, I and, and I check the joints on it. I, you know, I check the joints on it. So it's it's not moving on its own. It's not just falling down. Someone keeps getting up there and moving it. You've got this in my yard, Roy? Yeah, yeah, in one of your trees in the back. I don't know that I feel real comfortable that you've got cameras in my yard. Well, well it's a nature camera. It's for the squirrels. Well, I get that, but it's my yard. Well, yeah, but, you know, you got squirrels coming through there. I've got one a couple houses down from you, too. It's not just you. But I just wanted to film the okay. squirrels. I, I make YouTube videos and stuff. Okay. Um, why am I, Why have I never heard that you have... Where did you get my number from? Oh, uh, I found it on the Internet. But, yeah, I didn't tell you about it. I just kind of went up there and put the camera up. And I did the same thing, you know, a couple houses down. I'm just capturing the squirrels, that's all. 
Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that, Roy. I'd like that removed. Oh, no. No, no. I've, like, because I'm basically doing a time lapse of, uh, like, an entire year. So, like, stop moving yeah, it. Yeah, that's... I, I, I knew, don't care. That's my guard. You know what? I knew it was you moving it. Like, now you're saying that you want me to move it. I figured it was you moving it. But please, can you just not move it? First of all, I have not moved the camera. Because I know it was there. And now I'm really creeped out that you seem to have found my number on the internet. Not sure how. What? It's on the internet. I just, um, I looked it up. There's, mm-hmm. there's websites. They, yeah. they just, they give you people's phone numbers and addresses. I'm sorry that exists, but it's the internet. Yeah. Well, I don't feel comfortable with you putting up cameras that I didn't know about in my yard. Okay. Well, I mean, they're not pointing at your house. Like I, I rarely see any of you walk I, by I, it. I really don't care where they're at, what they're pointed at. If it's in my yard, it's getting removed. Why? So why do you hate squirrels? You remove it or I remove it. Well, why would you? Why would you just keep moving it? Like keep moving the camera over if you were gonna just, you know, why wouldn't you just Either totally remove, remove it? Remove it or I remove it. Well, you better not remove it because I'm doing like a time lapse thing. I have to have it in the same yeah, position. Yeah, and when I remove something from my yard, what are you going to do about it? Uh, I'll put a, a camera in your next door neighbor's yard and point it at basically the same spot. That's fine. Go right ahead. Put it in my neighbor's yard. Well, can you just... I don't care what my neighbor, I don't care what you put in someone else's yard. Why don't do you even care? It's, my yard. it's not like you have a nice yard. Mm-hmm. You got those ugly power lines going overhead. Yeah, I don't have power lines. Well, you know, they're right behind so, the fence. wrong yard. What? It's not the wrong yard. On s- drive. I don't live on s- drive. Oh, shit. Okay, well, you have nothing to worry about then. So you're telling me you have it in my parents' yard then? Oh, is that what? Okay, yeah. Yeah, see, see. don't even worry about it. Like, you know, just keep, yeah. your, keep your nose What's out your of their... address, Roy? Keep your nose out of their business. What's your address? Well, I'm not going to tell you that, but I'm over on um, drive. Mm, okay. All right. All right. I appreciate it, Roy. Okay. Um, well, I will be at my parents to remove that camera in about 20 minutes. Oh, no. Don't Have remove it. Day. Like, No, I'm, I'm filming Bye. the squirrels. <laughs> Please, sir. Well, that's nice. The son is going to go over and have a nice visit with his family on a Saturday afternoon. You're welcome for that, Matthew. I hope they invite you to stay for lunch or dinner or something. And what's great is he's going to go over there and just go crazy trying to find a nature camera that doesn't exist. I mean, I hope it doesn't exist. Or if it does exist, you know, I helped him find it. So you're welcome for that too, Matthew. That idea kind of came from the idea of putting a uh, audio bug inside of a restaurant. I'm like, I should do that in people's yards, but it'd make more sense if it was like a nature camera or I don't know what else. A license plate tracker, maybe. Hello. Hi, Marie. Speaking. It's your neighbor, Roy. Uh, I put one of those nature cameras up in your tree, you know? <laughs> and. <laughs> The, the nature camera. I've got a nature camera in one of your trees, you know, just to watch the okay. squirrels and stuff. And I huh. went up there to retrieve the footage, and someone took the memory card out. What? Okay. Who am I speaking to? Oh, my name is Roy. I live, Roy? Yeah, I live over there over there on a drive, but not the one by, you You know, like two blocks away. You live two blocks away from me? Yeah. And I'm so, do I know you? Oh, probably not. No, I just um, <laughs> okay. I've, I've just set I, them up in strategic areas around the entire neighborhood. These uh, nature cameras and people's trees. Okay, and what tree would it have been in? Uh, in yours. And I went yeah, to well, retrieve the footage last night about three in the morning, and it was just like the the camera's still there, but the memory card's gone. And I know I put a memory card in there because those things are expensive. It's like a terabyte <laughs> memory card. Yeah, um, uh, uh, so you put it in one of our trees on, on our yard? Yes, in your yard. And okay, do you know which tree it is? Yes, because I, I went okay. up there and I checked and like the camera's still there. But ma'am, did you take my memory card? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I don't know what is going on. I will tell you this. My husband had a stroke a few months ago, Uh-oh. and he is putzing around out in the yard. But was it high? I mean, would he have been able to reach? He would. First of all, he would not have if the camera's still there. He, it's not him, and it certainly isn't me because I don't. I'm not a nature person, and I would not climb a tree for anybody. Yeah, you got to climb that um, tree. <laughs> throw a rope up there and just climb up that way. 
Oh, gosh. Um, I feel like this is a prank call or something. What? Why would I prank call you? I don't know. That's why a... would you put a camera in one of my trees? <laughs> well, why would I pretend uh, to put a camera in one of your trees? That makes even less sense. <laughs> okay. Um, I did, probably it would have been a good idea if you just knocked on the door and we could have went out and looked at it. Oh, no. I most do, people I know. say no. They chase, <laughs> chase me off their property. <laughs> well, okay. Here's what I'm trying to tell you is. One guy hit um, me with a rake. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, um, my husband, first of all, um, is not a, he does he doesn't even want a phone. The phone he has is a flip phone and I make him carry it because he had a stroke and I want to know where he is. Mm-hmm. He, um, he would not have known if he found a camera, he probably would have brought it in and showed it to me or he would have threw it away. He would not have. Would he freak read- out like a, like a monkey? Like. Like, ooh, 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 technology, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, <laughs> kind start of, smashing yeah. it on the ground, like, with bones? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he would have brought it in and said, stammered, because he can't speak very well. Okay. W- what the heck is I, this? I've, I've apologized for saying he talks like a monkey. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I understand. Um, he, so, what I'm say, trying to say is, I'm sure he hasn't even seen it, or known what to do about it and he certainly did not take the memory card out i myself oh, okay. am not that um that techie either okay i i would not have done it i'm sorry i can't help you and you're welcome to come over here and take the camera down and see what's going on or did you already oh I guess no, you did. no no it's still up there I, I i put a new memory card in it it's just a smaller one so i have to come over more often to to swap it out and which tree is it in? Uh, in the front. It's just to capture the squirrels. I don't. Ha- it's not pointed at the house or anything creepy. Okay. All um. Right. Yeah. Your husband's flip phone. Does it have GPS on it? No. Well, how do you track is him it, then? How do you? Wa- I don't how do you- track him. I just want him to be. I want to be able to call him and I. And if he gets into a problem, like falls over or something someone would pick that phone up and the only thing they can do with it is call me well people know how to use a flip phone though they're gonna be what's this thing no i'm sorry i'm sure most people know how to use a flip phone yeah yeah okay all right i was just curious about that if um flip phones were now modern and had gps in them um well they there are some that do but he did not want one he did not want a phone at all um, can your name is Roy? You said. Yeah, yeah. This and is, what is like, your address, ma'am, Roy? You're, you're so nice. Uh, I, I, I can't continue with this prank call anymore. This is just a prank call. I don't even live in. What the? Heck? <laughs> I'm just calling up random people and saying weird things to them. Seriously, hold on a minute. I was trying to look at my caller ID. <laughs> How did you get my name? Oh, it's um, uh, I don't like. I think you posted it on next door. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I oh, my yeah. husband's selling a vehicle. Yeah, right. selling the Chevrolet, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just calling random okay. people from next door, that's all. And where do you live? In Oregon. Okay, here is the thing that's been making me nervous for this call. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. My husband, the stroke victim, mm-hmm. hates squirrels. <laughs> no. Absolutely, and you kept what? saying that, and I was thinking... He actually sets traps for them and takes them over to the park and lets them out over there. Oh, I'm glad he doesn't kill them. My dad did, did the same thing. He would just capture them and release them in the forest. Yeah. He, he, he had a squirrel. He doesn't like them, period. He had a squirrel get into his truck and <sighs> do some damage. Was it while he was and, driving? No, no. Oh, okay. It was parked. He had he left the door open and he was working in the backyard. I was imagining a hilarious cartoon scenario. Like yeah. the Mississippi squirrel revival, like, like or some, like the seventy-five-year-old lady standing on the phone talking to a total stranger about a squirrel cage. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, exactly. You, I feel sorry for you, Roy. You have no life. Obviously. I know, I know, but I have fun. I guess. Okay. All right. Um, um, I hope you have a good okay. day. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I'm. Uh, you, there's yeah. no. There's no camera in your yard, though. I promise. <laughs> I've never been. Stay out. 
I won't. I won't do it. Our governor doesn't like weirdos. I know. I know. I'm not allowed there anymore. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, All right. You have a nice day. You too. Bye. Bye. Her husband is fucking weird. He hates squirrels. He hates technology. He starts making monkey noises whenever he sees tech. He puts aluminum foil over all of the light switches and plugs. Wait, no, that's from an old Stephen King story. Never mind. What a nice lady, though. I completely ignored Next Door Nick's idea on that one. He wanted me to call from the elementary school and say that the backyard looks like shit, makes the school look bad, probably affects the morale of the children playing out there in the playground. More kids are beating each other up because they think they live in a bad neighborhood. Oh, man, I should have done that. Hello. Hey, Billiam. Yes. It, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Yes. Uh, I hung a couple, well, I hung like five Apple Air Tags from your tree, trees last night. That's right. What? Okay. Uh, I just can, I just wanted to make sure, can you not touch those? I want to leave those up there forever. I'm going to come by uh, about once a year and swap the batteries out in them. What? Wait, 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 wait. Who? Who's what neighbor? What neighbor is this now? Uh, uh, it's Roy. Roy, I live over on e Drive. Oh, he only drives over there, but I don't know Roy. You know Kevin? <laughs> I don't know Roy. Kevin. Yeah, I just put, I put Apple Air Tags in your trees. Okay, the front one. Uh, yes, and the back. Oh, uh, can't be in the back. Why? You, how did you? Get yeah. How would you get back? How would you get in the yard? I hopped the fence and I landed on that little shed roof. Huh? I hopped the fence and then I landed on that that shed back there, whatever it is, that roof. The roof. The roof. You know, there's like a little building back there in the very back. How'd you get out? How would you get on the roof? The, the roof of the little building, the little shed thing. No, you wouldn't reach that from the fence. Listen, sir, I, I, what are you talking about? I had a rope. <laughs> and besides that, you said apple trees. We don't have any apple trees. Oh, my gosh, ma'am. Apple air tags. You know, for Apple I I, I, iPhones. You know what? I must be a dummy. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, you're not a dummy. They're they're tracking chips. So, like, you can track your keys, you can track your wallet, track your backpack. Okay, okay and why would you put them, you put, you put them on our phones? I put them on your trees. I, I hung them up in your trees. They're like little keychain things with the battery in them, and they, they transmit out a signal. Okay, but why would you do that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm protesting against Apple's... Air tag tracking. I want to create chaos in the neighborhood, so I've been going all over the neighborhood and putting them in random people's trees. And then when people try to track their stuff, uh, it's just gonna get confusing. We'll see like a really huge list. Okay, but and, and I don't mean to say this in a mean way or anything, but isn't that trespassing on our property? Yeah, well, I was only back there for a minute, and uh, you might have people like look looking over your fence and and thinking their stuff is in your backyard because they see the Apple Air tags. But I doubt uh, I doubt anyone else is gonna do that. Hey Roy, what's your address? Why? Well, you just told us you live on Grand Drive, right? Uh huh. Okay, so what's your address? Uh, five two eight five one. Five two eight five one. Yeah. Roy. Okay. So, so I've never. Hmm? So I don't know who you are. You know. Okay. Well, yeah. Just don't touch those Apple Air Tags. I wanna I wanna get as many as I can. All over the neighborhood. Huh. Okay, we'll see. You. It's just a protest, you see. Okay. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Okay. Good How come I had to talk to the lady across the room instead of you? That was weird. Oh, I, I got you on speaker. That's why. I yeah. know, but like uh, I can hear you, but she sounds like shit. Well, <laughs> she's far sorry, away. Sorry, I'm farther away. <laughs> I know. Oh, Seems silly. You. Okay, we'll see you. All right. Bye. The other day on the Hang Up the Phone show, I did one of those on Wednesday after Devin's show. Did I mention that on the beginning of the show? I can't remember. If you missed it, though, it's over on uh, phonelosers.com, the Hang Up the Phone show that we did this week. Uh, somebody called in, and I'm sorry, I forget who you were. 
because Fresno Carl made me stop taking notes. He made me feel weird about it. But someone was suggesting putting air tags all over the place. Or wait, no, he was putting air tags all over his yard to try and lure me over into his property. He was trying to catch a Brad by putting up Apple air tags everywhere. But I don't know. We, we got on a weird topic at some point. I can't remember who suggested what. But I think it was the caller that said it would cause chaos if there were just Apple air tags everywhere. Which I don't totally understand because don't you see which ones are yours? And then I had the brilliant idea of making fake Apple air tags and just hanging them off of the bottom of people's cars where they can see them. So they'll be like, oh crap, it's an Apple air tag. Somebody's tracking me. So I don't know if this even makes any sense that I'm putting Apple air tags in people's trees. Maybe we need to make our own Apple air tags that automatically pick up the codes of other Apple air tags and then copy them and send them out and make people think that there are shits somewhere else. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's how we'll stick it to the man known as Apple. Hello? Renee? Yeah? Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. Hi, Roy. Hey, I was um, I was on your patio last night, and um, I couldn't find my Apple AirTag. Have you, have you seen it out there? Because it's still showing that it's on your patio. Um, who is this? Uh, this is... I don't have a neighbor, Roy, do I? Well, yeah. Well, I don't live on your street. Uh, I live on uh -huh. Petunia Drive. Uh-huh. Well, um, no. We don't have any Apple anything. I know. Um, well, no, my Apple okay. AirTag was on your patio and out in the back. Well, why would it be on our patio? Well, because I was back there, and I guess I just dropped it. Why were you back in, on our patio? I was, well, I was you don't live on my street. I wasn't on the patio. Well, I mean, I went up on the patio just for a minute, but mostly I was just laying out in the yard. You were laying in my yard? Yeah, late last night. Why would you be laying in my yard late last night? Because I was looking at the stars, but the main reason I was there was to find my Apple AirTag. You know, but I don't know who you are, but this call came in from, you were in my backyard yeah, well, I mean, I, I have... You are trespassing? A, and what is this? Is this a scam? It's, it's not trespassing. I was looking for my Apple AirTag. That's why I was back there. I must have dropped it. You had no business being in my backyard. Yes, I did. I was looking for my Apple AirTag. Wow. Well, how would your Apple AirTag get in my backyard? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. I must have dropped it You're back so there when I was back there earlier. Why, why are you calling me? I just wanted to find out, like, did you see it laying around? Well, you know what? I am sending my neighbor over there to see what you're up to. Your neighbor? Why not you? Aren't you home? Wait, did you just yeah. did you just tell a stranger I'm on the I'm phone? I'm calling the police. Did you, just, you know what? You guys call the police. You just told a stranger right. on the phone that your house is empty. You shouldn't do that. My house is not empty. My husband's home. Okay. Well, He's then why, why the would you send the neighbors over then? Oh, my God. I do not understand what she was doing. Hello? Michael! Yes? Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Oh, Roy. Uh, what, across the street, right? Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. Uh, I I was in your backyard last night looking for my Apple AirTag. You, you what? A tag? Yeah, I was in your backyard last night about oh. three, three, uh, two to four in the morning. I was back there. What were you looking for, though, you said? Uh, my Apple AirTag. It's a tracking thing that uh, Apple uses, you know, for iPhones. Yeah, what is it? Uh, like a helicopter or a or drone or what? No, no, it's just a little, it's a keychain tag. And I can track it with my iPhone. And it was saying that it was in your backyard, but then I couldn't find it. Oh, well, you were in my backyard, but how could you lose it in my backyard? Um, well, I, I was just back there looking for it, you know? Yeah, but I know, but how, why would it be in my backyard in the first place? Oh, maybe I dropped it from a, a few nights earlier. A few nights earlier when you, what, when you were at my house? Well, no, if I, I, sometimes, you know, I go on late night walks and I just go into people's backyards. You go on a nighttime walks and you go in people's backyards? Yeah. Well, you know, that's the way you could get killed. Oh, no, don't be silly. We're neighbors. Yeah, but how would I know if you were my neighbor or not? Where do you live? I never even heard of you. Well, just across the street. I, I'm just, I was back there. I was just laying out in the yard, um, you know, in between looking, and uh, I couldn't find it. Have you seen it out there? That's why I'm calling. 
No, what's the, how big is it? Uh, it's like a little keychain. You know, it's got just a little bitty battery in it. Like the little keychain. Well, I'll tell you, one thing, I see anybody in my backyard, I don't know who they are, I shoot the son of a bitch. Oh, you do not. You've never done that. You want to bet? No, you've never done that. Hey, he hung up. Here, let me let me call him right back. You again? Yeah, but you never shot anybody. Come on, how many people have you shot what in your back? What do you want? What are, you, what are you searching for before I call the police on you? I'm not searching for anything. I just thought it was weird that you claim that you go around as murdering people all the time. No, listen, listen. I don't know who you are. You say you're my neighbor. I don't know who you are. I'm going to end this conversation. And, and if I see anything across the street, I'll post it on uh, next door. Well, I wasn't doing anything weird back there. I was just looking for my Apple AirTag. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Asshole. He's going to post me on next door? Nick, be on the lookout for that, for the post by this guy. His name's Michael. You just sent this to me two days ago. Hey, MTM. How can I help you? Hey, I'm a customer. I was in there earlier. I was inside your cooler. You know where the milk is? Right. Yeah, with well, milk and Pepsi. I was in there for a little bit during the lunch rush. One second. Yes, sir. And I, I can't seem to find my Apple AirTag. Have you, has anyone turned in an Apple AirTag? Nobody has turned in an AirTag. Is there is there uh, one in the cooler, maybe? Uh, I'll check for you if you give me about five minutes to help with my customers I have in line, and then I'll run okay. back there for you. Is, is it okay if I just come back and, and I, I just hang out in the Look cooler? Around. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Can I talk to one of the customers, please? One, one of the customers? Yeah, yeah, just put one of them on the phone. Hello? Hi. Hi, this is uh, Steve Dave from the corporate office with AMPM. Okay. You're the millionth customer. You get to do the shopping spree, and we're going to let you run around the store for exactly 30 seconds and pick up anything you want. Wow. Is that real? Yeah, of course. He just handed you the phone. Are you ready? Okay. It's going to be exciting. Are you ready? Okay, you got 30 seconds. He'll signal you when your time's up. Let's grab everything okay. you can. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, go, 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 go. What is he saying? 30 seconds shopping spree? No, man. Okay, I was thinking, no. Oh, he got suspicious and didn't do it. And why would that employee just hand the phone over? I didn't say I was anybody important. I'm just a customer looking for a lost item. Why would I talk to a random customer in the line? This is exactly like that guy last night doing the locate test. And also, damn it, people are supposed to get angry with me when I show up in their cooler and start rooting around in there. Jack in the box. Hello. I'm a customer. I was in there earlier. Well, hello. Hi. How are you, customer that was here earlier? Not bad. I was there for the lunch rush. For the what? Lunch. You know, lunch. I was there, to, there during oh, lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I came inside. I put a, a small hidden microphone there by the counter. Yeah. And, and uh, somebody's moved it. Do you know if anybody moved that? Um, I do not know. Let me go check. It's working fine for the first hour, but now I feel like I'm hearing more like one of the tables, like where someone's just sitting and eating. Yeah, probably. Um, okay, where's it at? Uh, well, I magnetically attached it up there by the register, but it's not there now. I I hear I hear some I hear somebody talking, like they're eating and talking, like a couple. Is there a couple people in there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is. I think I think the microphone might be under their table, like mag magnetically attached to it. Okay. Um, what does it look like? I'm hearing their conversation. Oh, it, it looks like I don't know. It's just uh, it's very small and uh, very discreet and hidden. Um, you know, it's just a wireless transmitter, uh, transmitting to me. I don't see anything. Are you looking yet. under the tables? Yeah, I am. Like the ones that are occupied. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Um, are, are they wondering why you're looking at their legs? Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Uh, he just asked me if I'm looking for a phone. <laughs> oh no! Tell him it's a wireless listening device. Oh, uh, whoever. No, the... it's a. What? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no a microphone. A hidden microphone. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I don't know what it looks like okay. either, though. Are any of the couples that are in there, it's like a man and a woman, 
but they're talking about like sketchy things. Does anyone that in there look sketchy? No, it's just a guy. There's just a guy and a kid right now. Wait, it could be the kid because you know maybe the kid sounds sort of like a female, and they're discussing sketchy things. Yeah, I just don't see the microphone though. Oh, can you walk around and clap, and I'll tell you when you get near it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me put you on. Where's Moet? Will you send Moet out here? Will you send Moet out here? No, will you send him out here? Moet. I need your help. Where are you looking for? I need you to walk around and clap. And he's going to tell me when you get close to the microphone. What? Is the wireless microphone here? Alright, I don't even want to be a part of this. Where? He said he's going to let me know when you get close to it. I need one. Yeah, you can. Yes. Just walk around and clap. Clap clap rapidly. Yeah, clap rapidly. But rapidly. Tell him rapidly. Be like rapidly, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, he's coming. He's making a burger right now. Ugh. He's coming and making a burger. Ew. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Um, okay, just continue with the clapping and the snapping fingers. I'm going to do echolocation and fig fig figure it out. I, I don't hear the clapping. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to get done making a burger. Oh, okay, I'm Can't sorry. clap and hold the phone at the same time. Well, we don't need the phone. Like, um, if... Well, I got to know when you get to it. That's true. Good, good point. Bro, will you take your gloves off and clap for me? Rapidly. Just go clap around the tables, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. I can't hear. Keep going. You're covering the mouthpiece. Yeah, I'm covering the mouthpiece so you don't hear him clapping. Oh, that's a good idea. I, I just, I don't know where my wireless microphone went. My hidden wireless microphone. I don't know either. Did you even have permission to do that? Oh, no, no, it was hidden. It was uh, hidden wireless. It's secret. Oh, well, all right then. Have a good day. I, no, I was listening to people take orders, sir. What does he mean, did I have permission? You guys, I, like, okay, last night when I did that, I did not expect him to walk around and clap and then spin around and say locate. I'm like, okay, I got an idiot manager. It's not going to happen again, though. I'm going to try this. And this time, the manager is going to be like, what the hell? Why would you have a hidden microphone in here? They wouldn't help me look for it. They'd tell me, hey, we're calling the police or something. But guess what just happened? The exact same thing. He walked around. He got employees to help me. Why? Why would they just help me? This doesn't make sense. Good afternoon, Wendy's. Hey, uh, I was in there earlier today. Hi. Hey, uh, I set up a hidden microphone up there by the cash register. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, and it was just attached with a magnet, and I think somebody's moved it. Oh. Like, can you figure out where that got moved to? Because it sounds like it's in the dining area. I... I don't know anything about a hidden microphone that would have been put up here. Well, yeah, I didn't tell anybody. It's hidden. Oh, well, we can't, I'm not, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to go find that. I'm sorry. Well, no, I, I'm just like, I was, it was supposed, it's supposed to be by the register. And, uh, I, I feel like it's in the dining area because I hear customer, I hear more like customers talking and eating. It shouldn't be able okay. to pick up that far, you know, across the room. Right. Did were you told to put a microphone in our Oh lobby? no. No, I just wanted to. It's a it's a oh. wireless microphone that transmits to me remotely. Oh. Gotcha. Well, I don't think that I can allow that. Yeah, well, you didn't have to move it. Like why'd you move it? Did I you, didn't move it. <laughs> you didn't put it out by the dining area? No. <laughs> no. I, like, None of my six employees that showed up to their job today are worried about the microphone you hit in here, but... 
Okay, maybe like a kid grabbed it. I did kind of have it hidden down low so no adults could see it. Oh, maybe, okay. Well, maybe a kid grabbed it and put it in the dining area. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, that was an expensive microphone, though. And I can still hear people talking. Can I come in and try and figure out where it is? I'll just look under yeah. it. I'll look, I'll look under all the tables, and then I can move it back. Uh, yeah, I prefer you not move it back, though. I, I'm not okaying you to record my <laughs> restaurant. Oh, no, not recording, just listening, just monitoring. Oh, but well, I... I, just, I, I want it over by the registers, though. Okay. Like up by I, the counter. What, what is the purpose of that? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to see how people order, so I make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, well, uh, I would prefer it not here, but uh, you're more than welcome to come get your microphone. Just for a couple days. I'll, I'll just come in there, and I'll move it back to where it was. That's something you'd have to okay with somebody above me, but I don't I don't see that being okay. Well, no, it, it's, um, you know, I, I won't tell anybody. I'm just going to put it back where it was. And hopefully, I don't. Hopefully a kid won't grab it this time. I'm not okaying that. <laughs> well, well, no, I wasn't asking for an okay. I just... I was so okay confused like what oh you just said okay no i it said is? okay i hear you but i'm wait so you're okay in it no i am not okaying that absolutely not oh you just said it was okay no i was saying okay to what you were saying that some kid might have moved it but i uh. i'm not okaying you to record my cashiers or my restaurant in any way shape it, or well it's just audio it's, it's not like it's not creepy it's just audio it, does, it doesn't matter it's <laughs> Still, I mean, I don't. I, I just, I'm not very good at ordering, and if I can study how other people order, then I'll be better at ordering. I, you, we have a main office. You're more than welcome to call them and ask them if it's okay for you to put recording. Oh yeah, right. Out. They'd say no. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, they definitely it's, say no. <laughs> it's got to be secret. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't tell me then. <laughs> I, well, I wouldn't have, but somebody moved it, and I don't know who who would do that. Dang, then incognito, move it back to your... Okay. Like, pick a different restaurant. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in and order some food, and you might notice me moving from table to table as I check each one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. See, that's more of the reaction I would expect from places. I wouldn't think they'd pull employees off the grill. And have them walking around clapping. Thanks for calling, Red Robin. How may I help you today? Hey, uh, I was in there earlier today, and I put a hidden microphone by the register, and somebody's moved it. It sounds like. Can it, I help you with anything? Well, it sounds like it might be in the dining area. Have Have you? Has Do you know who moved that? Uh, sir, can I help you with anything? The The hidden microphone that I put in there. Thank you. Have a good day. What? There's a reaction from somebody who's not dumb enough to fall for it at all. Good going, that guy. Wendy's. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave from the Five Guys, you know, just a few doors down. Hi. Hi. I was in there earlier today, and I put a hidden microphone by the register. Okay. And now it's not transmitting. Did somebody find that and turn that off? You put a microphone? Yeah, a hidden microphone. I attached it magnetically. Uh, in a very okay. dis- discreet location near the counter. Okay. And it worked for like an hour, uh, a couple hours, and now it's off. But the battery, is, the battery is supposed to be good. Why would you do? Why would you do something? Ma'am, like the that? battery is supposed to be good for forty-eight hours, so I don't know what the problem would be. Okay, well, I'm just curious why you would hide a microphone and do that. Well, so we could listen remotely. For what? It's just, it's just uh, you know we're competitors. Okay, but yeah, hopefully we did find it because that's not something that's allowed. Wait, you don't know? Do. Did so, did an employee find it or did like a customer? I don't know. We weren't looking for it because we didn't know you did that. Ah, oh, well, shoot. You know, I, I was hoping to come and recharge it every couple of days. Yeah, that won't happen. But thank you. Well, no, I'll get another one. I just I'm so I'm so confused. Okay, let's try five guys. Five guys. This is Jennifer. I'm gonna help you. Jennifer. It, it's Billy. Yes, it's Billy from Wendy's. Billy from Wendy's. Yeah. Well, don't say it like that. Don't make fun. Like I, No, I'm not. I'm just trying to place you. Okay. Uh, I was in there earlier, like during your lunch rush. Uh-huh. And I put a hidden microphone kind of where people pick up their orders. 
Okay. And it stopped transmitting, and I don't know why. Did somebody there find it? Hold on one moment for me. Okay. It's really from Wendy. He says he's planted a microphone over there. The transmission stopped, and he wants to know what happened. Hello, how's it going? Hello, pretty good. It's Billy. Billy, okay. Um, not aware of who Billy is, but... Oh, yeah, I don't really know you guys. I don't work there. Um, I, I put a hidden microphone there, though, like where people pick up their orders. Okay. And now it's not transmitting. It worked fine for like two hours, and the battery's supposed to be good for 48 hours. So why are you putting... Transmission devices in my store. It's just so that I can receive uh, your transmissions. Transmissions from what? Uh, from the microphone. The, the, so hi the hidden microphone. It was magnetically attached, you know, there by the for, counter. And for what? Well, you know, we're competitors. I'm, I'm here at the Wendy's. Okay, the so... The co corporate office asked me to get some intel. Okay. <laughs> But, and uh, I'm guessing you want me to go and turn your microphone back on? Well, yeah. I don't know why anyone would turn it off. It, like, the switch is basically hidden. Like, you really have to know where it is to, to oh. turn that back and forth. Really? And, um... Yeah, it's just a... It's what a, what where, restaurant are you trying to call right now? Uh, Five Guys on... Okay. I'm just a, a few doors down. You know, there's us and Chick-fil-A and then you guys. Oh, Okay. So, where's the microphone? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Somebody turned it off, and I hope someone didn't steal it, because that cost almost oh. $100. Well, that would suck to be you, then. I guess you shouldn't put things where they don't belong, I guess. Well, no. It was I hidden. Mean, it was supposed to be hidden. It's like a discreet, uh, hidden microphone. Okay. It says that on well, the description of it on Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, if it's gone, it's gone. Okay. Unfortunately. Well, you're you not going to. Can, can, you, can you look around and see if it's in there somewhere? I don't. I don't really have time to look around for your. Why don't you? Sir. What else are you doing? Uh, like it didn't even. Um, it didn't sound that I'm, busy. I'm working. Like twenty I'm minutes. Working, twenty so. minutes ago when it shut off, it didn't even sound that busy. You can't tell me you're busy. Well, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't help you. You have a great day, Billy. What? Are you just going to try and sell it on eBay or something? <laughs> Come on, man. Why, have a great day. Why are you got to be like that? What? This is mad corny, okay? Mad um, corny? I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. What do you all mean, right? What do you mean you're done? What's that even I'm, mean? I'm not talking to you anymore, Billy. You have a great day, you're okay? You're still talking to me. You just told me to have a great day after you said you're not talking to me. Man, Billy gets no respect around there. Ooh, look at this. Here's an O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Cody, how can I help you? Hey, Cody. Uh, it's Billy at the Wendy's, you know, up the road just a bit. Okay. Uh, I was in there earlier. Uh, during lun the lunch rush, yes, and I I hid a microphone there by one of the cash registers, like a hidden wireless microphone that transmits the audio to us wirelessly. Okay, and it stopped transmitting a couple just a little bit ago. Okay, um, did you guys turn it off because it's supposed to last for a few days? No. Well, what happened to it? Did someone steal it? Did you guys find it? I have not seen anything, so I, I don't even know. It's supposed to be discreet. Yeah, no, nobody's touched anything that I know of. Can you ask the other employees if they found my hidden wireless microphone that I discreetly yeah, placed can... uh, up there by the, the registers? You said you did it earlier today? Yeah, during the lunch rush. Do you guys have a lunch rush, too? No, not really. Oh, because there's a few people in here. I just I went up to one of the empty um, register little you know cubicle things, and I put it there. Uh, did you mean to call O'Reilly's? Yeah, yeah, O'Reilly's on Street. I'm just around the corner, uh, up the highway a bit. You know, on the other, oh. other side of the car dealership? Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> microphone anywhere it's supposed to be up here by the register somewhere yeah they're not saying they said they don't see nothing either uh do you think the manager found it uh that would be me oh shoot okay well i don't know um can i come back in there and look for it like uh i know about where i put it i mean feel free yeah
Okay. I don't. I, it's it's as if somebody turned it off. There's like a, a hidden little switch on it, and I just need to come in and turn the switch back on so that I can monitor the audio from afar. Okay, why? Do you work at Wendy's? Yes, yes, I'm uh assistant manager here. Then, uh, that don't make no sense to me, then. What do you mean? I'm going to I'm gonna have to give my store manager a call. Oh, I, wait, you said you were the manager. I'm the acting manager right now, yes. Oh, I see. Okay, what's his phone number? I'll put him on three-way. Uh, I can't give that number out. I'll give him a call. I won't tell anybody. What's your What's your name? Uh, this is Billy at the Wendy's. Billy? Yeah, Billy with an I, though. All right, I'm going to give him a call. What's a, what's a good number? If he wants to call you, he'll call you. Okay, uh, five six nine six nine. All right, I will give him a call and have him call you. Are you sure nobody there, like, just took the listening device and maybe they just want to try and sell it on eBay or something? Yeah, I'm positive. It's, it's worth, like, $150. Yeah, I'm positive. All right, well, how can you be positive? Did you ask anyone? Unless a customer walked out with it, none of my fellow employees touched your microphone, buddy. Well, I, I put it in a, a hidden area. It's very discreet. I don't think anyone would see if it. If it was hidden and very discreet, then how would we have found it? I don't know. Maybe you saw me put it there, and you're like, hmm, what did he do there? Like, maybe you're, you yeah, were no. re reviewing the security tapes. Yeah, no, probably not. Pro probably not what? What part? That's probably not what happened. Okay, uh, well, it seems I'm going to go ahead and give my suspicious. manager a call and have him give you a call. Thank you for calling. Sir, you know what? I put this microphone, uh, <laughs> sir? Man, I wish I could listen to the call he's making right now to his manager. Why wouldn't he just let me hook that up for him? Oh, look at this. There's a vape shop kind of nearby the Wendy's where Billy works. Thanks for calling vape. Hi, this is Jacob. How can I help you? Hey, Jacob. Uh, this is Billy over at the Wendy's. What's up, man? How's it going? Um, I, I was in there earlier, and I left a hidden wireless microphone up there by the counter. Yeah? And it doesn't seem to be transmitting anymore. Did someone turn that off? Ah! <laughs> Another sensible person who isn't going to entertain my silly ideas. Oh, here's an actual cannabis shop. But calls to cannabis shops never work out. They know they're being pranked. Thank you for going on. This is Chris. I can help you. Hey, uh, I was in there earlier today. This is Billy over at the Wendy's, kind of down the road a little bit. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, well, I came up to the counter, and I, I left a uh, wireless listening device nearby. And it worked for a couple hours, but now it's it's turned off or something. Did you guys switch that off? Uh, one more time. Oh, the wireless listening device. I, I was in there during the lunch rush. Uh, I don't have anything that's been turned in or found on the counters or anything like that. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay. Well, it was a very discreet device. Is uh, hidden. I, I kinda... uh, what uh, register were you at? Oh, I don't know. I didn't actually buy anything. I've never smoked weed before. I just, I, I put, I put the the wireless listening device just kind of there in the middle. I came up and asked, like, a question. I was really soft-spoken and, and didn't make eye contact. Um, let me see, my friend. But, yeah, it's, it should be transmitting all of the audio from your store straight over to me here at Wendy's, and it, it just turned off. And it should last for 48 hours. I don't know why it would turn off. Uh, um, why are we putting listening devices around? No, oh, don't worry about it. It's just for me. You know, it's personal use. It's nothing to do with Wendy's. Right, but I mean, if why are we putting listening devices in our store without our permission? Yeah, well, it's it's not that it's it's supposed to be discreet. You know, it's like hidden. But like it attaches. No, no, I I understand that, but um, it attaches. You're not allowed. I'm not what? Well, why are we recording audio from our store? Oh no, not recording. Just monitoring. I I wouldn't record. That's illegal. Uh, well, why are we monitoring? Well, it's just personal. You, uh, it's no reason. Like, no, it's nothing to do with Wendy's. I'm just an employee here. Uh, I was on my break during the lunch rush. No big deal. But like, give me, you know, give some, me just a moment. Somebody there switched it off. 
So I, if you wouldn't mind coming in and retrieving your device, I'd really appreciate that. Okay. Well, did, did it get turned off, or did somebody take off? I with don't. It? I don't see a device in here. Oh, and it, shoot. You shouldn't be really doing that to businesses or establishments without their know-how, because that's almost just as illegal as you taking. Oh, I don't think it's illegal. Like they sell these on Amazon. Un They're supposed to be un hidden. Right, but it's unlawful in the state of Washington to take that kind of data from a place of business without their permission, first and foremost. Even with their permission, well, it would be it's illegal. just for personal use. I, I just wanted to see how you order weed. I didn't know how to order weed. I was afraid. So to try. I, um, I'm going to have to have you come remove that. And if you don't, I do have your number, and I don't want to have to report you to law enforcement. But it is kind of an offense. Well, this that is does just affecting that. my anxiety, and now I'm afraid to come in. I understand that, but it's unlawful to bring that device in here. Oh no, that's not true. Like uh, you can you can walk around with a wireless listening device. Right, but leaving it in an establishment without them knowing and or letting them know is unlawful. But but that's what it's designed for. It has a magnet on it. I, I, so I, I understand that's underneath. what it's designed for, but you didn't let the company know, you didn't let the business know, nor management know. Was there perhaps that's, that's, was there that's unlawful. Like you know, it was like kinda down low because I didn't want adults to see it. Was there maybe a kid in there that picked it up? Uh, it's a cannabis store. No one under the age of 21 is allowed in the Yeah, but we know you don't really follow those silly rules. Come on. I was thinking maybe a toddler got it. Um, what's your name? I already told you before it was Billy. And where was this device located? Oh, I don't, like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It stopped transmitting. And if I can find it, what's a good number to get back to you? Uh, just come over to the Wendy's. Come over to the Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Are you an employee there? Yes. And what? Who do I ask for when I Head, get there? Uh, Billy. Ask for Billy. Yep. All righty, mean, Billy. Like the, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stop back in later. What's a busy time to come in? Like, what's the other lunch rush? Like after work? It. I mean, when you get off, I'm gonna need you to come and grab it. So it does, doesn't really matter. Whenever. Well, no, I wanted, for you. I wanted to come over and switch it on. You're not going to switch it on. I'm going to have you retrieve it and take it with you. Well, no, it's got like a little bitty switch on it, and you just... I don't, I, it's not up for negotiation, my friend. You're going to come and grab the device, and you're going to take it with you why, out of the why establishment. Are you be, why are you being like this? You don't need it's, to be, You're being... It's illegal, man. And if I need to go down to your place of work and re report it there, I'm more than willing to do that as well. What? No, I was off duty. I was like on my lunch it rush. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Lunch I can break. get the information there for breaking the law, and they'll be not, more than happy to cooperate. I'm not breaking the law. It's a wireless microphone. They sell them on Amazon. It's that hidden. Doesn't, that doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter where you bought it from or how you bought it or what you're, you're, the way you're using it is illegal. It says right here on the ad for discreet listening and monitoring. Yeah, not in a cannabis shop, my friend. So I'm going to have to have you come get that as soon as possible. Why? And, like, uh, well, is a cannabis like some sacred place or something? A cannabis and shop? And if you don't, uh, I will be reporting you to the law enforcement. You're, you're acting like you're a damn church or something. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we see you soon. And if not, I will be definitely calling your place of employment and law enforcement. Well, wait. Are you going to call my place of employment yeah. first? or? And that place was directly next door to the tobacco shop who I think just hung up on me, right? Maybe they'll talk to each other and figure things out. They're also right next door to a Domino's Pizza, which I also called and did that too, but I'm pretty sure I deleted that one because it wasn't that funny. So there's like a whole shopping center over here where everyone's had to deal with me. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this show. I know you're all anxious to get to the voicemails since that's everybody's favorite part of the show. So let's do that. Let's do some voicemails. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Really, it's uh, Valdi and Taylor here. Um, hey. Been listening for a long time. Just wanted to call in real quick and ask if you or any of your listeners are checking out NAAS on YouTube that's not even a show. They like prank like uh, politicians and like really, really terrible people like Nazis. And it's, uh, it's pretty hilarious because the targets really deserve mm. it. Um, anyway, I just want to know if you're familiar. And if you're not, just wanted to give you a heads up. Anyway. Probably bye. not. I didn't understand the name of the show that you said, so if somebody understood that, tell me in the comments what show I should be watching. Oh, hey, Brad. It's me, Next Door Nick. And, hey, uh, man. Oh, man, man. I can't, I can't do it, man. I need to do a snowblow show now. Oh, I can't stand it. Sorry. I need to do a snowblow Sorry, Nick. show. You show. I'm killing Nick, everybody. Sorry, Nick. I hope today's show helped. 
Thanks for all the numbers today. I think most of the numbers that I called today were from you. Hey, Brad and Carol. It's Peter from Illinois. Hey. Just wanted to call and say happy 6-9. Right. I was left two days ago, obviously. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, hey two quick requests. Uh, the they are th- not quick. This voicemail is a minute and a half long. Will I get to the end of it? Who knows? It is, I would love it if you would put... Uh, a video, not a video, but like uh, on the Faux Losers channel of a whole bunch of you uh, reaching answering machines and saying pick up, like urgently pick up, pick up, pick up. I would love that because there's almost nothing that makes me laugh harder than when you are trying to get somebody to pick up from an answering machine. I die every time. I would just love to listen to those calls. Hi. And uh, they always end up being funny too after somebody picks up, especially when you say, are you sitting down? I love that shit. Uh, second question, and you might not know this top topic. Wait, what's the question? You want me to make like a compilation video of me saying pick up? Am I just not understanding anything tonight? Yeah, but hopefully somebody in the community does. There was a card game call that you made, which was like a series of like the most ridiculous shit happening. Like you tripped over a skateboard, which knocked down a tree, yeah. which flipped somebody off of a shopping cart or some shit that... I remember that one. That was fun. I wanted to do more of those. Those things like ended up digging their car. Do you happen to know where that is? I can't find it on the PLA channel. Maybe. And I'm not sure which show it is on, but it is so fucking funny. There's like another one that you made uh, that's on iTunes. It's old. And it has like two things that happened coincidentally to put a ding. But this one was like, uh, it was like something straight out of a circus. So anyway, thanks. Appreciate so you. Thanks. Sorry for the long message. Bye. Yeah, fuck you and your long message, Teen Wolf Jesus. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Dad, he still loves you. Um, I think I know where to find that prank. Maybe. Man, just trying to do voicemails here. Teen Wolf Jesus has me searching through my hard drive. Aha! Here it is. It's called Stay Off the Crack. I remember it was named after whatever their son said to me at the very end. And it doesn't have a date on it, but the date on the file is... January 14th of 2013, so maybe it happened right around there? Wait, no, it wouldn't be January. That's not Ding Timber, but maybe that's before we called it Ding Timber. Hello? Hi, is Dan there? Yeah, this is Dan. Well, I thought I heard a female. Oh, yeah, I answered, but he's also in the car. That's weird. (laughs) What do you want? Well, you called me and left a message and said that I hit your car. My name's Roy. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was a week ago or something. Yeah, Did you been... leave a message? Yeah, because I've been trying to call. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, what, what was it? There's a few little... There's like a little dent on one side, a little dent on the other, about the size of a golf ball or something. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, well, it's... Or... I, I really it's hard to remember it's been so long I, I was leaving out of my house though and I tripped down the stairs the front stairs is like four stairs off of the front porch and I tripped down those and hit a skateboard are you, are you it, was okay? on, it was on the Mizzou parking lot yeah yeah well see the thing is the skateboard it went down the hill and and it it caused um some people to jump out of the way and, and this other guy he, his car flipped over car flipped over yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, I, let me ask you, are you okay? If, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just tripped down the stairs, and then all this other stuff happened. Cause, cause, oh, my um, God. Cause it, was a, well, it was actually a tree branch that he, when his car flipped over, the tree branch fell. Wow, that's weird. Well, we, we don't know exactly what we should do. What do you no. suggest? Oh, no, that's all right. Sir? Well, no. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I heard something in the background there. Um, oh, no, that's okay. Well, the tree branch hit a bike rider. And and he veered off course and headed toward Mizzou. Yeah. I, I, I guess I don't see that much damage. I guess you're good with us. Well, no, you haven't heard the full story yet. It's, it's all, it all, this is where it starts getting crazy. Okay. Why is he saying to hang up? I don't get it. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. The car because we're the almost at the restaurant, but we're, we'll wait. Go ahead. Oh, which restaurant are you going to? It doesn't we're matter. Sure. Don't, don't, what, what, do you, what do you propose to do here? Oh, I, I don't know if it's even my fault, because it's like this giant Rube Goldberg mess of, of coincidences and stuff. Well, you know what? Let's let's just say we don't hold you responsible. Oh, we thank appreciate, God. 
Yeah, we, we appreciate yeah. your honesty and letting us know, but let's just let's just call it even. Oh, thank you so much. I love you, ma'am. I love you. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome, and you take care of yourself, okay? Okay, thanks. You're the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stay off the track. Listen to that smart-ass son of theirs telling them I'm full of shit during the whole thing. And what the hell am I doing playing an entire prank call on the voicemails? It's like 11 p.m. right now. I'm never going to get the show finished. I'm going to be up till 2 in the morning. Hello, this is Finro. Um, hey. I listen to your show. I'm from the glorious United Kingdom. Holy shit. And um, I wanted to say two things. Is Neon single... And um I don't think so. Is um are you accepting any more shows onto Prank Call Nation? Um because I'm trying to start my own show because You seem to be a little you bit and you're big in- behind on things. I don't know if Prank Call Nation even accepts people anymore. It's pretty much just Dwight and sometimes Matt Hillock and I don't know if Neon's around. I haven't seen her in forever. I talked to her on Discord like two years ago, maybe. Operation. So I'm trying to make like a UK phone show. Yeah. So you know, if, do it. You know, how do I how do I make it bigger? As per se. Put it on prank cast. Um, yeah. Do I just hang up to finish this thing? Um, yeah. Just I'm hang, just gonna hang up the hang phone. Up. I will feed Brad. Hang up your damn phone. If you're doing a live show, just get on prankcast.com. Set up an account. Start doing a show, and maybe people will tune in. Hey, this is Mono One. So, hey. number change is always fun. How about you call Karen or whoever from the mayor's office to change their name? Of course, because Karen. Or you, ch- you tell them they're spelling the name wrong, and you've corrected it. Okay. That's an idea from a, uh, okay. a uh, kind of a classic French uh, phone prank show, and... Uh, they, they were doing that, and it, it's just really funny. That's it. Which, you know, change their name. Which phone prank show? I guess I wouldn't know if it's in French, would I? Maybe it doesn't Fine. sound good to you, and if it doesn't, it's because I explained it wrong. But it's a fantastic idea. Love you. You fucked it up, man one And I kind of like that idea. I could call from City Hall, say I'm the new records keeper, and I just changed your name to Eddie or something. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of man one I think I'm going to end today's show with a song of his. And by that, I mean I'm ending the show now. I know I only did a couple voicemails, but I also played a long prank call in the middle of the voicemails, and it's after 11. I gotta get this edited and put up tonight. So I'm ending all this. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Broski, Class, Rev, Sean L., and Brennan. You guys keep the shows happening. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show. Here's another track from Mano One's brand new EP called the Prank Mixes EP. You can get it on Bandcamp for free. And you actually can't download it. I said I was downloading it earlier on the intro, and I lied. I was trying to download it, but you can't download the tracks. What the hell, Mano One? But you can listen to it on Bandcamp. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Yeah, I have a collect call. Will you accept the charges? Yeah, go right ahead. She's being kind of a bitch. Call her a bitch again, I'll come find fucking you. She's being kind of a bitch. Talking about my sister. Rep, 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 reference your tone. You're talking about my sister. Patch the fucking call. You're talking about my sister. Rep, 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 reference your tone. You're talking about my sister. Patch the fucking call. Maybe I don't want to now. Patch the fucking call. Maybe I don't want to now. Patch the fucking call.
You fucking cock, you are so fucking stupid. Hey, shut the fuck up, please. I don't understand why we're having a conversation.